to coach Heidi Christopher. Today we are going to do a yoga fat burning bonanza. So get ready. So a couple things about fat burning. Obviously working your large muscle groups burns fat. Back bends in yoga boost your metabolism, burn fat. And of course using multiple muscle groups at all time burns more fat, which you do in yoga all the time. So let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start on all fours, hands and knees. Just to wake up your body a little bit, inhale, arch your spine, look up. Exhale, round, so just a little cat cow action. Inhale, arch, look up for a cow. And exhale, round for cat. Just one more time, inhale, arch, look up. Really opening up your spine. And exhale, round. Nice, from here, tuck your toes, lift your hips, come to a down dog. Pedal your feet out in your down dog, just waking up those legs. Turn your head side to side if that feels nice. And then from here, take both knees to the right, your hips to the left, butt towards your heels. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, knees to the left, hips to the right. Inhale through center, and just take that a few more times on each side. Again, this is just a warm up. <laughs> so you're just opening up the spine, and getting your body and your blood and your oxygen moving. All right, down dog. From your down dog, slowly roll out to your plank pose. And then inhale, lift your hips back to down dog. So you know you have the proper down dog alignment if you can roll right out to the plank without changing your feet or your hands. Inhale, lift back to down dog. Slowly roll out to plank. And every time you lift to down dog, I want you to engage your belly to your spine so you're really making the movement come from your core. Roll back out to plank pose. And now we're gonna hold plank for a minute. <laughs> so get used to it. So while we're holding plank, you might as well take the time to look at your alignment. Look at your wrist creases, make sure they're parallel in one parallel line to one another. So if they each have a line drawing through them, they do not intersect. I want you to press into the knuckle of your forefinger and thumb, and I want you to grip your fingertips so much so that they change color. This is all going to alleviate pressure from the wrist. Pull your belly to your spine, lengthen through your tailbone, reach through your heels. This is your proper plank form. So we only have 30 seconds left. <laughs> And if you really, really, really can't do this, you can always drop your knees or you can come to your forearms. Most important thing is that you have proper form. You're pulling your belly to spine. So of course this is fat burning because you're working your entire body. It's also pretty much the best move for your core in the world. <laughs> so three, two, one. Back to down dog, stretch it out. Not for too long, rolling right back to plank. <laughs> and then lower your whole body to the ground. From here, take your big toes together, clasp your hands behind your sacrum. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your toes. This is locust pose, Shalabhasana. It's a back bend, heart opener, which of course stokes your metabolism like I mentioned at the start. Exhale, release down, and inhale, come right back up. Nice, we're gonna take that three more times. Exhale down, inhale, lift. One more time, exhale down. Inhale, lift and hold. If you want to turn your chest side to side, it's a really nice shoulder opener. You're still working your entire back, large muscle group, and your butt as well, which is another large muscle group which brings back. All right, relax everything down to the ground. Come to all fours, tuck your toes, down dog. From here, slowly roll out to plank pose. Exhale, halfway down to chaturanga. Inhale, right back up, twice more. Halfway down, inhale up. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale up, transfer your weight to your left hand and your left foot. Your right arm is high, side plank. Really nice, breathe here. Lift those hips up and exhale, dip your hip just a little. And inhale, lift. If you wanna put one foot in front of the other, that helps. Hips down, inhale up. But for the added challenge, of course, stack your feet. Hips down, inhale up. Take your right hand down, elbows, oops, there goes the mic. All right, so we're just gonna do three more lifts and lowers. That's just what happens with live workouts, okay guys? <laughs> Exhale, halfway down, inhale up twice more, halfway down and up, halfway down and up. But you do not have that same excuse to stop. <laughs> right hand, right foot for side plank on the other side. You can stack your feet and then drop that hip. Inhale, lift. Remember, again, if you need one foot in front of the other, you can always do that. But the more advanced variation, which is gonna work the most muscle groups and burn the most fat, is one foot on top of the other. Three more lifts and lowers. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, up, twice more. Halfway down, and up. Halfway down, plank pose, down dog. Slowly walk to the front of the mat. 
keeping your knees nice and soft, engaging your core. From here, take your big toes together, heels slightly apart, slowly roll up to stand. Shoulders like and head are the last to arrive. From here, roll those shoulders away from your ears. Inhale your arms all the way up. We're gonna take some back bending sun salutations. I mentioned the back bending is metabolism boosting. Exhale right back down, forward bend. Inhale the right leg back, back knee down, sink your hips, reach your arms high, crescent lunge. Exhale your hands surround your front foot, come to your down dog. Roll out to plank pose. Exhale, lower your knees, chest, and chin to the ground. This is a back bend. Inhale, pull forward to baby cobra, another back bend. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right leg high, down dog, split. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands, back knees down, keep the toes tucked, sink your hips, reach your arms high. Swing your arms back, left foot meets the right, clasp behind your sacrum, standing forward bend. Softly release, inhale, your arms reach all the way up. We're gonna do the whole thing on the left side. Exhale, right back down. Inhale, the left leg back, back knee down, sink your hips, reach your arms high. You're opening your hips here. Exhale, your hands surround your front foot. Down dog. We're allowed to plank pose. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin to the ground. It's meant to feel awkward. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg high, down dog, split. Exhale, step your foot between your hands, back and comes down. Keep the toes tucked, sink the hips, reach the arms high. Swing the arms back, right foot meets the left, clasp behind the sacrum, standing forward fold. Softly release, inhale your arms reach all the way up. One more time on each side to get the heart rate up. Exhale, right back down. Inhale the right leg back, back and down, sink your hips, reach your arms high. Exhale your hands surround your front foot, down dog. Relax to plank pose. You can do knees, chest, chin, or lower halfway down to chaturanga this time if you like. Inhale, upward dog or that cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right leg high, down dog split. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Back knee comes down, keep the toes tucked. Sink your hips, reach your arms high. Swing your arms back, left foot meets the right. Clasp behind the sacrum, standing forward fold. Softly release, inhale your arms reach all the way up. Breathing is included. <laughs> Exhale, right back down. Oxygen promotes fat loss. Inhale, the left leg back. Back knee down, sink your hips, reach your arms high. Exhale, your hands surround your front foot. Down dog. Roll out to plank. Either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg high, down dog split. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Back and comes down, keep the toes tucked, sink your hips, reach your arms high. Swing your arms back, right foot meets the left, clasp behind the sacrum, standing forward bend. Softly release the clasp, inhale your arms reach all the way up. Hands together, relax your thumbs at the center of your chest, close your eyes. Plug your thumbs into your heartbeat. You should feel your heart beating. Really nice, you guys. So from there, I want you to take a step back from the front of your mat. So you have at least a foot and a half from the front of your mat. Take your feet hip distance apart. Outer edges of your feet are parallel. Bend your knees, sink your hips, and come to a chair pose, Utkatasana, with your feet hip distance apart. So knees are right over the ankles. Lengthen through your tailbone, pull your belly in, drop your shoulders. Big inhale here. And on your exhale, I want you to plant your palms, take your knees right up into your armpits, and just lift your toes off the ground for a second. If that doesn't work, one foot is fine. Just put most of the weight in your hands. And inhale right back up the chair. We're gonna do 10 of those total. Plant your palms, lift your feet. That's two. <laughs> Plant your palms, lift your feet. For three, again, it's totally okay to do just one foot at a time, and that would look like this. For four, and up. Hands down and up for five. If you can try both feet for the last five, do it. So five more and up. Last four, it's just a little rough. We're not trying to hold anything. Last three, anybody can lift their feet up for a second. And then all of your weight is in your hands. Last two and up. Last one, if you wanna hold your crow pose, feel free to hold your crow or you can just do it for that second again. Really awesome job, you guys. From here, we're gonna take tiptoe pose. So your toes are together, your knees are together. This is a lot of core, this pose. So you're gonna take one hand to your heart, and then the other hand to your heart. Breathe here, so you're engaging pretty much every large muscle group in your body. So you have the lower body going on, your core going on. It takes a lot to balance on your toes. 
From here, take a twist to the right. So take your left elbow to your right thigh. Plant your palm, shoulder distance apart so your left arm and your left thigh are touching. Press into those fingertips and just lightly lean into your left arm so you're in a side curl. If your feet don't come off the ground, don't sweat it. Just make sure that most of your body weight is in your arms. And then take it to the left. So the right elbow hooks on the left thigh here. Plant your palm, shoulder distance apart on the ground. Press into those fingertips. Lean into that right elbow. Feet come off the ground. Or they don't. We're still getting the arm and core workout. Really nicely done, you guys. Fold forward. Soften your knees. Slowly roll up to stand one vertebra at a time. Roll those shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, your arms reach all the way up. And exhale, right back down. Forward bend. Inhale to a long, flat spine. Plant your palms. You can step, step back to plank or jump back to chaturanga. Just make sure if you're jumping back, you land on bent elbows. Inhale to your upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Okay, we're gonna flow for a little bit. So inhale that right leg high for down dog split. Exhale, tap your knee to your nose, belly to spine. Four more times, inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Maybe give the knee a kiss. That way you know you're really tapping. Inhale, lift. Twice more, and up, really engaging the core. And tap, nice. Come to a plank pose. Transfer your weight to your right hand and right foot for a side plank here. Lift that left arm up. Drop your left toes behind you. This is a rock star, so lift your hips up. It's another back bend. And then from your rock star, just simply drop your hips towards the ground. And inhale, lift them right back up. Twice more, hips to the ground. Inhale, lift up. One more time, hips towards the ground. Inhale, lift it up. So keep your whole body the same, except for your left leg. You're gonna step your left foot forward all the way to where your left hand would be in a plank, and you're in a low lunge twist. Big inhale to lengthen. Exhale to ring it out. Spin that back heel down. Windmill your arms open. Warrior two, you made it. <laughs> lengthen your tailbone, pull your front ribs in, so you're really engaging your core here. Inhale, lift and lengthen your legs and arms. And exhale, back to warrior two. Twice more, just like that. Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, back to warrior two. One more time, lift and lengthen. And exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, tip back, reverse your warrior. Breathe into your left side waist. And then you can either take your left forearm to your thigh or your hand inside your foot. You've got an extended side angle pose. Right arm reaches over, opening through your chest. Take your right hand down, back, and open as you straighten the left leg for your triangle pose. Really open your chest here, and then reach your right arm straight forward. Reach your left arm straight forward. Breathe. Use each inhale to lengthen through the spine. Each exhale to open up. Major core move here. Open up, don't sweat it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open. One more big inhale. Exhale, open. Come on up. And then turn your chest towards your front leg. You can hop that back foot in a little and just fold over your left leg. Square off the hips as much as you can. Use each inhale to lengthen your spine. And each exhale to release just a little more. Soften your front knee, crawl your hands forward. Supported warrior three here. So those back toes are flexed towards the ground. Inhale your left arm up for a revolved half moon. So your legs stay the same. You're just doing a little bit of a twist. And then take the hand down. From here, you're gonna come up to stand. Try to keep the lifted leg straight and lift it up. I know it's a major balance challenge, but again, this is fat burning. <laughs> come back to warrior three. If you wanna challenge yourself a little more, reach your arms out, come up. You can always keep the hands in prayer. Yeah, it is a major balance challenge, so if you come off balance, don't sweat it. Just laugh about it so that when you come off balance in life, you can laugh about it then too. Yoga is useful. Come on up. Nice, drop the knee down, reach your right hand inside the right foot for a dancer pose. Left arm reaches forward. Find your back bend here. And you can stay here, or for an extra challenge, tap your fingertips to the ground, and come right back up. I know it's a lot on the left leg. Really nice, you guys. And then from here, release your fingertips down. 
lifted both hands down and just step back to a low lunge. It was really awesome. Inhale up to a high lunge. And exhale, plant your palms. Head back to down dog. From there, roll out to plank pose. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, right back up. Twice more, halfway down. Right back up. Halfway down. Right back up. Down dog. Second side. Inhale your left leg high, down dog split. I know you're excited for it. Exhale, tap your knee to your nose. Inhale, back to down dog split. Four more. Tap your knee to your nose, engage the core. Inhale, lift. Three more times. Knee to nose, maybe kiss. Inhale, lift. Two more times. Knee to nose. Inhale, lift. One more time. Knee to nose. Step it back to plank. Transfer your weight to your left hand and left foot for your side plank this time. Reach your arm up. And then step your right foot behind your left knee. Inhale, lift your hips up for your rock star. From here, softly release your hips towards the ground. Inhale, lift it up. Find a back bend. One more time, hips towards the ground. Inhale, lift, lift, lift. Open your chest. And again, the left hand and foot stay in the same place. The right foot simply steps forward. Low lunge twist. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist a little more. Spin the back heel down, windmill your arms open, warrior two. Front knee is directly over the front ankle length and the tailbone, knit the front ribs in. Inhale, lengthen your legs, reach your arms up. Exhale, back to warrior two, really working the glutes here and thighs. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, lift it up. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, sit back, reverse your warrior, breathe into that side waist. Exhale, forearm to thigh or hand and side foot for extended side angle. Open your chest up. From here, take your left hand down, back and open as you straighten that right leg for your triangle pose. Pull the belly in, reach the left arm forward, reach the right arm forward. Each inhale lengthens, each exhale opens. You can do it, inhale lengthen. Exhale open, it's easy if you make up your mind to let it be easy. Lengthen, open, one more inhale. Exhale, open. Come on up to stand. Square off your chest towards that front leg and fold over your right leg. You can adjust the back foot if you need to. It's totally up to you. Just relax over that right thigh. Again, each inhale lengthens the spine. Each exhale releases just a little bit more. Spin onto the ball of your back foot and slowly crawl your hands forward for a supported warrior three. So from here, the left toes face the ground, squaring off the hips. Inhale your right arm up, you've got a revolved half moon, so your legs stay the same, you're just twisting your upper body here. Take both hands to the ground, and then take them to your heart as you feel steady. You're gonna slowly come up to stand, keeping that leg straight if you can, straight-ish, not locked for sure. And then come back to your warrior three, always maintaining good humor about your balance, of course. Reach the arms forward for that extra challenge, Inhale, lift it up. One more time. Warrior three. Using your whole body here. Core, glutes, lower body, that whole thing. Lift it up. Nice, this time you're gonna drop it down for your dancer pose. Left hand inside the left foot. Right arm reaches forward. So balance and back bend. Beautiful opener. Open that chest. Nice. And then just release out of it. Take your hands down. Step back to your low lunge. Inhale, up to your high lunge. And exhale, plant your palms. Step back to down dog. Roll out to plank pose. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, right back up. Twice more, halfway down. Inhale, up. One more time, exhale, halfway down. Inhale, back to plank. This time, lower all the way to the ground. Phew. <laughs> so we're gonna take those locust poses again. Clasp your hands behind your sacrum, big toes together. Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, release. So really working the muscles of the back here. Inhale, lift, 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 lift. Exhale, release. Three more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Two more, lift. And <laughs> release. One more time, lift and hold this time. Breathe, see if you can get your chest a little higher every breath. And when you're ready, just relax. Pillow with your hands if that feels good. Wiggle your hips out. Now we're gonna go for a bow pose. So your back should be sufficiently warm for this. Bend your knees, make sure they don't splay apart. So start with them together. 
Take your hands to the outer edges of your ankles, and then take a big inhale and lift up by pressing your feet away. You lift your chest, you press your feet back. Inhale, exhale, super deep breaths here. Again, back bends stimulate metabolism. So, you know, make friends with them. <laughs> One more, inhale, lift, 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 lift. And exhale, release. You can turn your cheek to the other side. Wiggle those hips out. And then from here, close your palms, all fours, down dog. Inhale the right leg high, open the hip, bend the knee. Exhale, step your right foot outside of your right hand. Left foot comes outside of the left hand. You're coming to a squat. Hands together, drop your tailbone. Inhale, lift straight up. Exhale, right back down to squat. Inhale, lift, I know it's your favorite move. <laughs> Exhale, back to squat. Inhale, lift, is this your favorite or is plank your favorite? <laughs> Exhale, right back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Faster for five, four, three, two, one. Really nice, you guys. Take your hands down, step your left foot back, lower your forearms to the ground. Lizard pose. Open your hips here. And then from there, you can keep your hands together or you can parallel your forearms. You're gonna step back to a forearm plank pose and then walk your feet as close to your elbows as they can get. This is dolphin pose, down dog on your forearms. From here, you're gonna inhale your chin forward in front of your thumb, and exhale back to dolphin. And inhale forward, and exhale back. You can keep those, or for an extra challenge, lift your right leg up. Inhale forward, oh my god, this is so much harder. Exhale back, inhale forward, exhale back. I know, I'm doing it too. Last three, really nice. Last two, last one. Release that foot. If you can, press into both palms simultaneously linking your arms. Don't worry if it doesn't work out the first time. <laughs> Inhale the left leg high, open the hip, bend the knee. Step your left foot outside of the left hand, right foot outside of the right hand. Lift your back and squat. Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, right back down. No rest for the weary. Inhale, lift. You're like, wait, this is yoga. <laughs> Inhale, lift. I know yoga may be a workout, it's crazy. Inhale, lift. Exhale down faster for five, four, last three, last two, last one. Really nice, you guys. Forward bend. Step your right foot back this time for your lizard pose. Hands can be prayered or forearms parallel. Whatever feels better on your body. Everybody's different. From there, step that left foot back for our plank pose. We have another round of the dolphin push-ups. <laughs> so walk your feet as close to the elbows as they can get. You can press your chest back for a little opening first. And then inhale your chin forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Okay, you can keep with those or you guessed it, left leg is high this time. Inhale forward. Exhale back. So I did mention that working multiple body parts at the same time burns more fat. This is pretty much the jackpot. Inhale <laughs> forward, exhale back. One more forward, one more back. Take both feet down, press into those arms. Down dog. Beautiful, you guys. Turn your head right to left. Just make sure it didn't, you know, tense up. And then tap your knees down. We're gonna take some camel rainbows. So you can have your toes tucked for a little um, extra height here. Left arm sweeps up, hips open. Camel is another back bend. Left hand down, left hand to left heel. Inhale that right arm up and open. Exhale down, two more times on each side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. One more time on each side. Lift up and sink. And lift up and sink. And this time, take a camel with both hands. Lift your chest. Open it up. You can drop your head back if that's okay for your neck. If it's not okay for your neck, don't do it. If you want a bigger back bend, untuck the toes. Open that chest up. Breathe here, super metabolism booster. And then softly release your hips to the ground. Swing your legs around. From here, just hug your knees in for a second. Arch your spine and round. It's a little less of a cat-cow. Just to make sure your spine is nice and loose. You're gonna come onto your back here, so one vertebra at a time. Try to use your core, never hurts. Bring your back onto the ground. Plant your palms on either side of you. Lift your feet up to 90 degrees. 
From here, you're gonna come to a shoulder stand. So press your feet, or your hands into the mat. Lift your hips up and take your toes back to a plow pose. If this doesn't work for you, just take a block under your sacrum and come to a supported shoulder stand that way. From here, you're gonna clasp your hands behind you, wiggle your shoulders underneath you, plant your palms on your back, fingertips face your bum, and then one leg at a time, come to your shoulder stand. Shoulder stand, I'm not gonna turn to look at you because that's really bad for your neck. Do not turn your neck once you're in shoulder stand. Just listen, don't look. So shoulder stand is great because it stimulates your thyroid gland, which of course burns fat and increases your metabolism. So breathe here for another few breaths. Really nice, you guys. Reversing the blood flow, which gets all that oxygen and blood moving, which of course stimulates your metabolism as well. Soften your knees down to your face, and then plant your palms. We're gonna roll right into fish pose from here. So one vertebra at a time. Gently release your back onto the mat. Plant your palms under where your bum is gonna land. Lift your chest up, elbows in. Drop your head towards the mat. Another super metabolism booster in fish pose and thyroid stimulator. Open your chest and breathe. Two more breaths. Last one. Tuck your chin, come onto your back. Bend your knees, plant your feet hips distance apart on the mat. Setting up for a bridge pose, so fingertips graze your heels. Or if you don't have a strong bridge, you can always grab your mat and clasp it and pull your mat apart to lift your hips up. But if you have a good back, clasp your hands underneath you as you lift your hips up, wiggle your shoulders underneath you, just like we did for shoulder stand, and you're in a bridge pose. From here, reach your right leg high, and then lower your hips, and lift them up, and lower, and lift, and lower, and lift. So your butt is a large muscle group, which of course burns fat, and we're in a back bend. So yay, double win. <laughs> last two, last one. Release that right foot down, reach your left leg up. Hips down, inhale, lift. Hips down, inhale, lift. Hips down, try to get a little more range of motion every time you do this. Three more, and up. Last two, really tighten your butt at the top. Last one, lift, lift, lift. Release your feet, unclasp your hands. Roll to the ground. So just take a moment here. Hand to your heart, hand to your belly. Your heart should be beating really quickly right now. If not, you're not pushing yourself enough. So try a little harder or, you know, breathe. <laughs> From here, you can either take another bridge pose or if you have a strong wheel pose, set up for wheels. So same alignment of the feet, outer edges of your feet are parallel. You're gonna take either hand, to either side of your head, your fingertips face your shoulders. From here, press into the big toe mound of your feet and lift everything up. So your feet will probably splay out as you come up, so splay them in. <laughs> press into the big toe mounds of your feet, press your chest away to open it up. Really boosting that metabolism here. Also working most of the, actually you're working all of the major muscle groups in your body here, so stay here for as long as you can and just breathe. And if you want an added, added uh, benefit here, you can always lift one leg, lift the other, like it's no big thing. And then for the super, super bonus round, reach your head towards the ground, inhale, lift. Yeah, they're real push-ups. Head to the ground, lift. I know, they're awesome. Head to the ground, inhale, lift. Just make sure you're not on a slippery surface. Head to the ground, you can always use a towel as long as it's gripped. Head to the ground, lift. Open that heart, tuck your chin, slowly come to the ground. You're amazing. <laughs> so after back bends, it's always good to twist it out. So just take your knees towards your chest and allow them to fall to the right. Take your right hand to your right thigh, left arm reaches out to the left. Turn your head to the left, try to keep your left shoulder on the ground. And any kind of spinal twist that works for you is perfectly fine here. Any variations, any fancy schmancy things, do them. Do what makes you happy. And then take your knees to the other side. Lift it out. Again, keeping that right shoulder on the ground so you're really getting the lengthening of the spine. Deep breaths here. And just take your knees into your chest. Give them a hug. You can take little circles on the sacrum if you need an extra massage. Just rock and roll your way up to sit. 
And then from here, feel both sits bones firmly rooting into the ground. Take a big inhale, reach your arms out and up. Hands together, release your thumbs to the center of your chest. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale out the mouth. Twice more, inhale. Exhale. And one more time, big inhale. Exhale. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed your fat burning yoga bonanza. Tune in next week, same time, same place. Kinetic Live, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am Q Coach Heidi Christopher. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,